offering only the finest in PC enthusiast apparel. Awesome Sauce shirts are not only threaded, they're hyper-threaded and come factory overclothed. Get yours today at the Awesome Sauce store. What's up guys, so if you'll be so kind, allow me to avert your attention for a moment to the console overkiller PC I built back in May. Such wall-mounted marbles make even the finest piece of contemporary art look like a grade school diorama. But whether you have a suspended system such as this one, or an HTPC in your living room for example, computers at a distance bring about some challenges when using a traditional set of wired peripherals. To prevent unnecessary cable clutter and trip hazards, opting for wireless devices in this case is generally recommended. Fortunately, there are a plethora of options these days when it comes to wireless keyboards, mice, and headsets. So many in fact that it's often hard to know where to look first, so today I'll be rounding up my top picks for each of these peripherals geared to handle PC gaming and everyday tasks. Starting with my mouse of choice, there are few better tried and true options these days than the G602 from Logitech. And although it isn't particularly new to the scene, it's reached critical acclaim in the community for good reason. For starters, the rubber palm rest, textured sides, and contoured profile provide excellent control and comfort for the full gamut of hand sizes and grip styles. Claw and palm grip users alike will appreciate the elongated click buttons and solid build quality, while fingertip grip users will likely be up in the air. Another trait that makes the G602 so well-rounded is the adjustable DPI and six-side macro buttons that give it the flexibility to shine in a slew of game genres. In fact, all 11 buttons on the mouse are programmable to suit your needs using the straightforward Logitech gaming software. Accuracy and responsiveness are also on point thanks to the Delta Zero sensor and 2.4 GHz USB wireless receiver which generate an imperceptible amount of input lag from up to 3 meters away. Even in the heat of a fast-paced shooter, I'd still have a hard time telling this mouse from a wired device if it weren't for the sight of my neglected mouse bungee. Although I experienced no connectivity issues when plugging the dongle out of sight behind my HTPC, for instance, a receiver extension cable comes included if you require a direct line of sight for better signal strength. Battery life is also a huge plus, with two pre-installed AA batteries that offer up 250 or 1440 hours of battery life in performance or endurance mode, respectively. And sure, non-lithium ion battery means no charging capabilities here, but if there's anything we learned from the Battle of Hoth, it's not to stretch a charging cable across your living room. Instead of the familiar weight system approach, Logitech cleverly allows you to remove one of the AA batteries to adjust the mouse's weight and balance, though bear in mind doing so will cut your battery life in half. Ultimately, it's this theme of flexibility and performance that keep the G602 a personal favorite of mine for cordless endeavors. The second weapon in my wireless arsenal is yet another offering from Logitech. I promise this video isn't sponsored. Hey. Hey, what's... What's that thing? What's, what is that in the air over there? This is the K800 Wireless Illuminated Keyboard. As the name suggests, the board features white backlit keys with five levels of adjustable brightness, ranging from off to very bright. To save power, the backlighting turns off after a few seconds of idling, and a nifty proximity feature automatically turns them back on when your hands approach the keyboard. While mechanical keyboard purists will shun this product for having membrane keys, the medium travel distance and light actuation force allow for long typing sessions with minimal finger fatigue, not to mention mainstream wireless mechanical keyboards still have a ways to go. Overall, you get a smooth work and play experience here, with the exception of a mushy spacebar. Feels more like a granola bar. The palm rest and optional incline adjustment also promote a comfortable typing environment. The top F row of keys is lined with handy shortcuts, multimedia functions, along with brightness adjustment, volume control, and a button to sleep and wake your system. Wireless connectivity aboard the K800 is handled via a 2.4 GHz USB receiver that should be within the line of sight of your keyboard for optimal performance. Unlike the unwavering G602, having the keyboard dongle plugged into the back of my HTPC resulted in some serious lag and missed keystrokes, but fortunately there's an included receiver extension cable here as well. With a clear line of sight, the keyboard is fully responsive with just the slightest bit of input lag. I wouldn't take it to any CSGO tournaments, but it's plenty fast for the average gamer. Running on the two included rechargeable AA batteries, you get up to 10 days of battery life per charge via the micro USB cable, and it's worth noting that the keyboard can operate without any batteries installed when wired in. There's also a battery life indicator LED and power switch at the top right corner of the keyboard. Yes, despite its uninspired appearance and lack of any mechanical switches, the K800 still manages to check all the right boxes for a wireless keyboard at a fair price point.
That leads us to our final wireless device, which isn't from Logitech, by the way, and also happens to cost more than both of the aforementioned peripherals combined. But its reputation for being one of the best wireless gaming headsets in the industry doesn't go unfounded. The Wireless H from Steel Series is a breath of fresh air in an overly saturated market due to its superior sound quality and innovative battery solution, which we'll touch on later. Memory foam padding on the adjustable headband and rotating faux leather ear cups provide superb comfort that lasts for hours, though not without first loosening up the aggressive clamping force that comes out of the box. Like a buddy of mine always says, if it's too tight, it's not right. I'm pretty sure he's talking about headsets. Around the ear cups, you get a power button, a chat port for Xbox, and an 8th inch share port for connecting another pair of headphones. There's also a retractable bendy mic with unidirectional pattern that isn't garbage quality per se, but admittedly should sound better than it does considering the steep price tag. You can also mute the mic by tapping the power button because no one wants to hear the soundtrack to your extended bio breaks. Removable cover plates on either ear cup reveal a mini USB port on one side for receiving firmware updates from SteelSeries, and one of two included rechargeable lithium-ion batteries. What makes the the battery system so great here is that the included transmitter has a charging dock for the spare battery, so that by the time the active battery dies, a fresh one can be swapped out on the fly for uninterrupted playtime. Such a simple yet effective solution that sets a new standard for wireless headsets. It's almost as genius as my idea for the one-click order pasta button. The transmitter also offers up a collection of onboard features like game and chat mixing, EQ settings, and Dolby Digital 7.1 surround. Chat mixing can be configured manually or set to automatically lower the game volume when chat audio is present. To aid with long distance setups, a well-placed scroll wheel on the right ear cup lets you adjust volume and navigate the transmitter's on-screen display, giving you full access to the features we just discussed. Another big dividend of this headset is its incredible wireless range. Staying on the same floor as the transmitter, I explored every corner corner of my house while listening to music, and the only drop I heard was the bass. Even with multiple doors closed between the headset and the transmitter, the signal remains strong and audio crystal clear. Perhaps the only thing that tops the range of the H wireless is its sound quality, an area where most gaming headsets fall immeasurably short. The cans make music a joy to listen to, and the virtual 7.1 surround enhances in-game footsteps and gunfire positioning to create one of the most immersive gaming experiences I've had with no strings attached. To be perfectly clear, this is hands down the best sounding gaming headset I've tried to date, and the fact that it's wireless makes it all the more impressive. Top-notch sound, a smart battery system, and a rich feature set make the H Wireless a must-have for untethered gaming, assuming you have the funds. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, those are my wireless inputs of choice for gaming at a distance, if you happen to be repping that keyboard mouse or die kind of lifestyle. But let me know what you guys think of my selection in the comments below, and what cordless contraptions you have in your arsenal at home. Before you go, don't forget to toss me a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and check the description below for newly restocked Awesome Sauce shirts! Also feel free to bookmark my Amazon affiliate link and use it when you buy stuff. It helps me a lot. As always, I'm Kyle with Awesome Sauce Network. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the next video.